All right, let's dive into this paper. Nested learning. The illusion of deep learning architectures. Because the core claim here is pretty wild, they suggest the traditional focus on developing ever deeper neural architectures might be missing a fundamental conceptual piece. They introduce nested learning or NL, a new paradigm that represents a machine learning model, not just as a stack of layers, but as a set of nested, multi-level or parallel optimization problems. Critically, each of these nested problems has its own context flow, allowing the NL paradigm to transparently represent all the inner gradient flows, unlike the flattened view of deep learning. The motivation stems from a major challenge. Large language models are essentially static after pre-training, only retaining adaptability via their known emergent in-context learning ability. The authors draw a strong analogy to enterograde amnesia, arguing that large language models struggle to form new long-term memories rapidly, limiting their knowledge to the immediate context window or the long past knowledge stored during pre-training. Nested learning is proposed as a path to enable multi-timescale updates for each model component, echoing the uniform and reusable structures observed in the brain that facilitate continual learning. From this NL perspective, they show that all core elements of a computational sequence model including optimizers and neural networks, are effectively associative memory systems designed to compress their own context flow. For instance, they formally demonstrate that well-known gradient-based optimizers, like SGD with momentum, are themselves two-level optimization processes, where the momentum term acts as an associative memory compressing past gradients. This realization allows them to propose more expressive optimizers, or deep optimizers by enhancing the internal memory module. For example, by replacing the linear memory layer of momentum with a powerful persistent module like an MLP, which they call Deep Momentum Gradient Descent, or DMGD in short. They also show how introducing nonlinearity on the memory output leads to variance equivalent to optimizers like Moon. Moving to architecture NL, introduces the Continuum Memory System, or CMS, which generalizes the traditional dichotomy of short-term and long-term memory. CMS is formalized as a chain of MLP blocks, where each block is associated with a specific different update frequency, essentially compressing its context into its parameters at varying timescales. By combining CMS with a self-referential sequence model, they create the HOPE architecture. The experimental results show that HOPE demonstrates very good performance across various skills, up to 1.3 billion parameters, and tasks often outperforming both traditional transformers and recent modern recurrent networks like RedNet and Titans on language modeling and common sense reasoning benchmarks. This entire framework suggests that computational capacity isn't just about stacking layers vertically in a traditional sense, but about designing a system with nested optimization structures that possess different timescale memories, treating the optimizer itself as a core learning module, like viewing a conventional clock not just as moving hands, but as a system of nested gears, each turning at its own carefully timed frequency to achieve the overall result. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.